Antibiotic resistance is a major global threat. If we do not act now, we will be faced in a situation like that of the pre-antibiotic era. And if that happens, it is predicted that drug-resistant infections will cost 10 million lives per year by 2050. So how do we stop this from happening? Well, we know the situation is worsened by our extensive misuse of antibiotics in humans and animals. And we know that much of the research in this field focuses on the development of new antibiotics. But the problem is, is that these new antibiotics will eventually stop working. And that is because resistance development is inevitable. My research takes a slightly different angle. It focuses on how resistance develops. Take a look at this image. The bacterium on the left is drug sensitive, meaning it can be killed by an antibiotic. The bacterium on the right is drug resistant and the antibiotics no longer work. But how does this happen? During my PhD, I have established a model which forces the bacteria to become resistant. That allows us to look deep inside the bacterial genomes to work out whether this process can be predicted. So if we look at our model, we have a plate which contains different zones. Inside each zone is a jelly-like substance called agar, which provides nutrients for the bacteria. But within the agar is increasing amounts of antibiotic. The bacteria are placed in the central zone containing no antibiotic, and they are happy until they reach the zone which contains an antibiotic. They require the nutrients in that zone to survive, but there is an antibiotic present waiting to kill them. Some bacteria refuse to move into that zone and die as a consequence of starvation. Others fail to make these changes inside their genomes and get killed by the antibiotic in that zone. It is only the bacteria that make these changes inside their genomes which can survive the increasing concentrations of antibiotic. So here we see the bacteria in white in the central zone. And it is only a few bacteria that are surviving in the zone containing the antibiotic. So we look closely at the genomes of these bacteria to see what has changed. If we can locate the exact region where these changes are taking place, we can target these areas in the production of new antibiotics. We can also take bacteria from a patient, place the bacteria in my model with a range of antibiotics, and select the drugs with the slowest rates of resistance development. If successful, we should always be able to be one step ahead of the bacteria, meaning we can continue treating bacterial infections with antibiotics, which will save many lives in the future. Thank you. Thank you.